Hi everyone, a uh, little video about the Keystep Pro. Uh, it's just about synchronization. There's a lot of good video you'll find on the internet on how to use this. I'm just uh, trying to understand how synchronization works. Um, in a previous video, I was using the Tempest as a master, um, uh, sending a MIDI clock out to a Keystep, not the Keystep Pro. And the Keystep would send a clock to a uh, Pamela's new workout, but I had a problem because I have a five millisecond delay. Uh, Tempest is playing late as a slave or a master, so it's not a big thing. And uh, for a drummer, sometimes it's good to have a drummer that plays a bit behind. So I'll say it's groovy. But if you have, a, say, a kick here and you want a snare on another module, or you have some very snappy sounds, then these delays, they start to be a problem, at least for me. Some people on the internet say, look, five milliseconds, nothing. Well, it's not, it's something audible for me, and it sounds like a clap. It's not as sharp as uh, something perfectly synchronized. And now I got the Keystep Pro, lots of uh, synchronizations, uh, so synchronizations solution, like the MIDI clock with uh, two MIDI outs here, you have the clock that you can uh, use to trigger some uh, Eurorack modules. Uh, and then you have uh, gates and uh, pitch direct out. But you can also play some instrument with MIDI's, right? So I tried to synchronize everything. And now this is a master. I have a MIDI clock going to Tempest as a slave. So I still have that five millisecond delay. So if I press play here, so you can hear on your left speaker the kick from the Tempest right there. And now uh, I'm going to play the O Coast, all right? So the Tempest is getting the, the MIDI clock of the Keystep Pro, and that's the Tempest's own sequencer triggering the kick, okay? So the kick is not played by the Keystep Pro, that's from the Tempest's sequencer. And you can hear kick on the left, O coast on the right, that there's a difference. It's not exactly sharp, right? So I'm going to switch to Nuendo where I'm recording these waveforms. And here you can see on the top the kick, on the bottom the O coast. So if you zoom in, you can see there's an offset. I gotta stop the playback get a better waveform. If I measure that, you can say 7 milliseconds. And I think that's consistent anywhere you go. 6 milliseconds, 6, 7 milliseconds, right? Now, so now I'm going to mute the O coast that was played via MIDI with the Keystep Pro sequencer and I'm going to play Platz, that's in the modular over there. So Platz is going with a gate, direct gate out directly to the Platz input trig. I'm going to press play and uh, Platz again is going on the right. It's like a snare sound. It's a kick from the Tempest MIDI, uh, MIDI clock slave and Platz directly out from the gate sequencer off the Keystep Pro. Do this. The same feeling. If you use headphones, it's almost easier to hear. There's a there's a clap going on. There's not they are not synchronized. It's the same. I'm going to zoom in here. And you can see we almost have the same uh, the same offset. So zoom, zoom, measure that, and that's seven milliseconds. <coughs> another where? Another. Position, measure, and seven milliseconds. So, I always have this delayed like a... Uh, and it looks like the Ocos played by MIDI or the Platts playing, played by the gates or synchronized. I'm gonna make sure that's, that's true. So I'm going now to play Platts, the snare on the left, and the Ocos by MIDI on the right. So setting the record, rack, play. So it's less obvious, but for me, 
if you again hear with headphones, you can hear it's not synchronized perfectly, but for these type of sounds, it's not critical, right? Still, let's zoom in. Sorry. And you can see this, it's smaller here, but you have like two milliseconds difference. So the um, two milliseconds. So the all coast is uh, two millisecond late compared to the plat. So say <coughs> nothing, nothing synchronized, basically. So I just press play. I put my kick. So I'm going to, sorry again. I'm going to press record and open everything. I'm going to play everything. Kick on the left. Plat in the middle. Or coast on the right. So what you're listening to here, nothing synchronized. Keep that in mind. So basically what the, the, the um, plat is playing first, then two milliseconds later all coast, and seven milliseconds later tempest. So there's a five millisecond difference between both here. And uh, I would love the Keystep Pro to have a function where you can set some offsets per track. Uh, maybe these five milliseconds, seven milliseconds comes from the MIDI in Tempest. Maybe it's a normal thing with MIDI uh, clock. I'm not super familiar with that. These are very small amount of times, right? But with drums and snappy sounds like these ones, you will hear the difference when I'm going to synchronize everything. There's a way to do this with, uh, with uh, Keystep Pro. So for the moment, the way I'm using is with a time shift. But it's not designed for that, I guess. And I would love to have a utility menu where per track you would plus 10 or minus 10 millisecond uh, delay your tracks to put them back in, in on, on, on time, right? So let's go back for the, the kick. There we go. Kick on the left. Now we have the Orcos playing there. So I'm going to select that track. I'm going to zoom in. And you can see it's a one beat step running into the loop. So I'm going to select that step. And I'm going to go to the time shift. So look, I'm not exactly sure what the numbers here when you change the time shift. I assume it's milliseconds. Because when I do this, I'm going to delay by five milliseconds. And you can hear already that it's, we're getting uh, sync again. I'm going to go too far and we're late, back to zero. And just a five, number five or six here. And we're going to zoom in the waveform and see how that goes. So stop. So again, that was the all coast. Look at that. The value is six and that's, so at the beginning, you remember at the beginning of that recording, I had uh, this six milliseconds offset and by putting six as a pitch shift, so I guess these are milliseconds actually. Now, kick from the Tempest MIDI clock and all coast played by MIDI by the Keystep Pro or in sync again. Nope. Yes. Time shift six. six. Now I'm going to turn on the snare. You can hear the snare is not, I put it a bit louder. It's in the middle. Kick on the left, of course on the right, snare by plat played by the gates in the middle, the center. So I'm selecting the plat track. Again, it's the same beat as a loop turning. Select the step. And here I'm going to put, so probably seven on the time shift. So zero, one, two, three, four, seven. Can you now hear the difference between 
this where everything is in sync and back to normal where you have a clap all over the place, right? So let's zoom in the very last waves we had. Looks good. So the I, I should have recorded in three separate tracks, obviously I'm a bit lazy here. Uh, but in the sound, you can hear in the sound that we're, we're sync. So that's it, just a little video to say, would be wonderful to have per track in the utility menu, plus 10, minus 10, and you synchronize everything to your latest tool, which in this case is the Tempest. So it would be nice to be able to synchronize and offset uh, the MIDI clock, uh, each tracks, and also the clock out that goes from here. Because for the moment, there's n I don't see the possibility to do that apart from what I did here. And I don't, I just received the key, the key step basically. I don't exactly know all the tricks, but for, mom, for the moment, I guess time shift can be assigned, uh, changed per steps. Maybe you can do per pattern, but I want it per track. I would like to use the time shift feature for the moment. I'm not super excited by, by, by this. Maybe it's quite a groovy thing. You need to be turned left and right. I haven't found the utility, but again, I just started with the key step pro. But yeah, I'd like that feature per track. That's it for that little video. 